I've done a lot of dumb things for videos, but this one might just be the dumbest. Hi, I'm Dakota, and for the next week, this bathtub is gonna be my home. Why did I sign up for this? You might be asking yourself, why? Well, it's pretty simple. I work at BuzzFeed and I'm running out of ideas. I'm gonna stay in this bathtub for a whole week, with a few exceptions. I can leave to use the toilet because I am not waffle stomping, and when my roommate needs to take a shower. I'm also not gonna have water in the tub the whole time because as I learned, that would kill me. For everything else though, I am sticking right here. What am I getting myself into? Goodbye, outside world. Bye. Oh, that's really hot. I shouldn't have started with a full tub. Oh, ah, that's hot. That's really hot. So I didn't go into this completely unprepared. I did bring a few things into this room to make myself as comfortable as possible because I don't want to just survive in here. I want to thrive. Everything that I use in this video is going to be linked in the description down below in case you want to do something as dumb as I am or just try any of those things out. To start, I have a cushion behind me. This tray here is basically going to be my desk where I can use my keyboard and mouse. I also have this little waterproof notepad next to me because if I am in this bathtub for a week, I am bound to have some incredible shower thoughts. I don't want to forget them. The coolest thing of all, check this out. I got a jacuzzi! I forget to turn it off. There we go. And then, of course, I have a rubber duck to keep me company. Outside of the tub is where things get interesting, though. I have a little rack over here to hold all of my provisions. And then I have this really cute little Frigidaire refrigerator that I am keeping some of the colder foods in. And then the entertainment center. LG was nice enough to send me out one of their short throw Cinebeam projectors, which is really great because it works in a small confined space. It's gonna be basically my monitor as well as how I watch movies and play video games. And yes, I know it's overkill, but I figured if I can, why not? I'm the only person I know with a home theater in my bathroom. Here goes a week. What do I do? Next thing I think, yeah. Can I take a piss? Yeah. Well, we're gonna get closer than we ever thought we would. <laughs> Good doing business. With and you. <laughs> I'd say this has been a pretty successful day one. I'm just kind of getting used to it and hopefully I can get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. I did not sleep well. All of my joints hurt. I am six foot two, and this tub is like less than five feet long. Ooh, that gives you an idea of what it feels like. Will is pretty busy in meetings today, so I can't rely on him to bring me food, but I set up something really cool, and I am excited to show it to you. Just watch this. All right, and order. Placed. I ordered it from Shake Shack. <laughs> it's only three blocks away. <laughs> okay, the guy just buzzed. I am going to let him in. I've got this. Let's see if this works. I think it's coming. Let's see if I can reach this. Delicious. I've got a few meetings today, and I'm wondering if I should take them with the water. Hey! Well, well, well. I've got the I've got this jacuzzi, it's bubbling. I'm gonna turn the jacuzzi off because it's quite loud. Oh that just turned it louder. Oh no. How do I okay, wait, no, that turned it back on. Oh no. Off? Why does it keep turning back on? Stop? I think it turned off. The last thing I need to happen is for this to short circuit while I'm on video with you. Important update. I posted on Instagram asking what I should name my duck, and I've decided to name him Arnold. Hey, Arnold. What's the point of being in the tub unless you're gonna hang out and relax in it? So I've lit some candles for myself. I'm just gonna relax and see if I can get a better night's sleep tonight. Really hoping I can. Ooh. 
I'm standing up because I just took a shower and I'm still waiting for the tub to dry. But last night was really rough. I felt like every part of my body was in the wrong position. Also, one thing I hadn't considered is that I shouldn't take a bath right before I want to go to bed because then I have to wait for the tub to dry before I can put my pillow and blankets in here. I can't afford to keep ordering food, so today I'm gonna bring a toaster in the tub. I'm just kidding. But I am gonna make some avocado toast. Avocado, bread, what more do you need? I forgot to bring plates in here. This thing got very hot very quickly. <laughs> Let's toast. Yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at that. It's beautiful. Breakfast. I feel like later I'm gonna be bathing in bits of egg. This is the reason the housing market is in shambles and I have to live in a bathtub. It's the damn millennials and their avocado toasts. I realize I've been so rude. I've been asking Will for all this help. He's been getting me food and I haven't even invited him in here to watch a movie or anything. <laughs> hey, Will. Yeah. Do you want to watch a movie and drink a beer in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Oh yeah, baby. Day three complete. I'm not looking forward to trying to sleep tonight. I am very tired though, so hopefully that will help. Day three in the morning, I've barely slept and I did exactly what I was afraid of and started dribbling water all over the pillow. I just need to clean up the water, go back to bed. I can sleep a little bit. I woke up today and I hurt everywhere. My back is sore, my legs are completely cramped up. I don't know if I can demonstrate this, but like my legs have to be completely bent like this in order to fit in this tub. And over the course of the night, I feel like it's constricting the blood flow and it's just like making me cramp up. I just want to stretch them, but I have nowhere to do that. And so I wake up constantly. I need to move around, like actually walk. So. While my roommate takes a shower this morning, I'm gonna go for a quick walk. I'm not giving up, I just need to like move for 20 minutes. It's so nice out. Where do I have to go back into this tub? I don't wanna get back in there. <laughs> So if this is gonna be my home, I figure I might as well start decorating. So I've uh, I've been adding some art to the walls. Um, this one I call Lost Arnold. And um, this one is what I think paradise looks like. There's no bathtubs there. And I'm currently drawing the view out my window if I could see out my window. I will start the bidding at $1 million. I'm doing great. I have to finish editing a video today, but after that, I think I'm going to take the rest of the day off and just relax. I'm gonna go live on Twitch, stream myself playing video games from my bathtub. It's raining. I'm already wet in real life, so I don't need to get wet in Minecraft. Ow. Ow. Ah, I don't have much health left. Damn it! Ugh. Oh, it's wet! And I got some of it up my nose. That stream tonight was really fun. I actually enjoyed myself. And I kind of forgot what I was doing for a little bit. And, and it kind of just made me realize that like, yeah, I can do this. It's gonna be hard. It has been hard, but like, it's possible. And I'm almost there. Good morning from day five. I just took a shower, if you couldn't tell. Last night, I decided to sleep sitting up, which I usually try to avoid because I can never stay asleep long that way. Like I can't sleep on buses or planes or anything. However, maybe it's because the last few nights of sleep have been truly awful, or maybe I'm just built different, but I managed to sleep mostly through the night. Also, it's Friday, which means I've just got a few days left of this, and then I'm free. I was sitting here trying to figure out what to do with my day, and it struck me that Arnold needed a friend. And so I've been converting this shampoo bottle into a friend for Arnold. 
Her name is Dove. They're getting married and all the soaps are invited. Just look at them, so happy together. Whoops. I wonder how long I can hold my breath underwater. I'm gonna try it. I'm out of practice, but not terrible. I invented a game. So I have a tennis ball, and I have a roll of tape here, and all you have to do is bounce the tennis ball off this uh, and into the roll. I'm really bad at it. Okay. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Let's call my mom. She picked up. What's up? I just wanted to call and say hi. I am in my bathroom. My home theater set up over there. That's great. Right over the toilet. Yeah, it's perfect. Aren't you out of there yet? Your mother's worried about your well-being. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. Don't worry. You comfortable? Um, sure. Drive me crazy, but you're... I'm sure I owe him something big time. He has gone to the neighbors to use the bathroom. <laughs> Why are you doing this? For content, Tucker. For content. It's my last day in this tub. I'm actually about to get out in just a few minutes. I didn't expect it to be this hard. I mean, I, I should have in retrospect. I should have thought, wow, that's not a good idea. You shouldn't get in that tub. But I did, and here I am. The past seven days, I've left this tub for probably an hour total, just in times where I needed to like change my clothes or grab something that I really needed. It took its toll. I physically don't feel great. Like my body feels kind of achy. And honestly, I think the hardest part has been the boredom. I'm lucky I had a bunch of fun stuff to do in here because if I hadn't, I would have completely not been able to get through this. I, there's no profound thing coming out of this. This was just a nightmare. This was just not a pleasant time. I do not recommend it to anybody. Don't do it. I might have to move. I don't know if I want to see this bathroom anymore. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Oh, my butt's wet. <laughs>